so good afternoon students today good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. sir today we shall see how to plot the bending moment diagram for any given cantilever beam subjected to uniformly distributed loads and uh, this is the beam as shown in this span is 5 meters very simple numerical uniformly distributed load is 20 kN per meter and this is the cantilever beam so we have to plot the bending moment diagram for such types of cantilever beams so as we are dealing if you can watch my previous videos in my channel so you will get the same sign conventions this is the section xx section left side clockwise positive moments anti clockwise negative moments section right clockwise negative moments anti clockwise positive moments so let us take one section first of all and this section if it is xx then assume that section at a distance x from free end because this is the fixed support and fixed support offers as i have explained earlier three reactive forces if you will assume this section from the left hand side then you will have to unnecessarily calculate these reactions so better to the right hand side absolutely no reactive forces are there so you consider the section from right hand side at a distance x so first we will try to develop the master equation for bending moment as mxx equals to how many forces are acting to the right of this section first you see this there is only one force to the right of the section and that is this uniformly distributed load so this uniformly distributed load of intensity 20 kN per meter is acting over the span x to the right of the section xx no doubt this udl is acting throughout the span of the cantilever beam but as we are considering to the right side of the section we have to consider only this length x so to calculate the magnitude of the force you have to multiply intensity with the length on which that udl is acting so 20 kN per meter multiplied by x meters it will be 20 kN it is as simple so 20 is the intensity multiplied by span it is x units will be kN per meter into meter that will be kN only now you see the udl how it is acting it is acting in downward direction so you move your pen in the direction of the udl about this section xx so the direction of the udl is in downward direction right and this you move your pen in the direction of the section see this you have to move your pen in copy or uh, if you are sitting on laptop computer you have to move your cursor in the direction of udl about this section xx see how you are getting you are getting clockwise moments now section right clockwise section right clockwise the value is negative it doesn't make any difference in my every video lecture i am uh, explaining the same thing you change these assumptions right it will not make any difference to your solution but whatever the assumptions you are following you have to follow throughout the numerical don't change in between so this is the master equation and now the validity of your section your section can move 
extreme conditions uh, extreme boundary conditions for this section is it can move from b to a so b to a if this section you now you have to imagine if this section is at b then this x will go on reducing and it will be equal to 0 so when the section will be at b x will be equal to 0 and when the section will move towards a this x value will go on increasing and it will be equal to 5 meters now the question is as we are developing the equation for bending moment moment is force multiplied by distance right so this is the force because of the udl of intensity 20 kilonewtons per meter acting on the span x to the right of the section x x so intensity into x we have the magnitude of the force now this force has to be multiplied by the lever arm or the distance of the force from the section so this is x so in case of udl the force will act at a distance or the length or the span divided by 2 so x divided by 2 will be the lever arm so you have to multiply x divided by 2 to this magnitude of the force you will get the moment so your final equation for this section mxx will be equal to 20 into x into x 20x square by 2 that is 10x square so minus 10x square and your section is valued from b to a and the distance when your section will reach at extreme conditions it will be 0 to 5 that's it now you have to start one by one to evaluate the values of moments so moment at b first of all you try moment at b if you will substitute the value 0 in place of x it will be equal to 0 so it is quite obvious that at free end moment is 0 if you will try to calculate the moment at a you substitute the value 5 in place of x so 5 into 5 25 into 10 250 so it is minus 250 units will be kilonewton moment is force multiplied by lever arm or force multiplied by distance so it is 250 kilonewton meter negative value now try to plot here moment at b is zero you know i am adopting the same sign convention positive values above the horizontal line negative values below the horizontal line so moment at b is equal to zero moment at a is minus 250 so minus means it is coming below the horizontal line and this ordinate will be 250 now please look at this master equation you are getting the in this equation x to the power 2 means the degree of this equation is 2 
so you have to join these two points with the help of second degree curve you mention here n is equal to 2 so with the help of the second degree curve you have joined this so in this way we can plot the bending moment diagram so i think uh, you might have enjoyed this lecture and you can practice uh, changing these values in case of cantilever beams change 20 to 40 kilo newtons per meter take 3 meter span or 6 meter span and let us try you will get different uh, ordinate but uh, the shape of the bending moment diagram will be same so thank you very much students